looking to the the best in your event, in your classification group, or even as a, an able body swimmer, looking at the best athletes to see how they do things. And it's the same when you come to this kind of meet. You, someone else has been innovative and found a new way of doing something. You take it home, you practice it. Sometimes it works for you, sometimes it doesn't. Well, it certainly has worked for those S1 and S2 swimmers in the previous two races. We move on now to the men's 100 breaststroke in the SB5 classification. We had Pedro Diego in lane number one, Can Hai Do in two, there's Marco Dolphin from Italy in three, Yuri Luchin, 18 year old from Russia, and four, Carl Forsman. What can he do? The Sweden five. Niels Grunenberg goes in lane number six for Germany. Evo Rocha for Portugal. Well supported by the home crowd here. Um, Vyacheslav Lenski qualifies for this final in eighth position. Well, Rui Luchin in the centre lane looked very, very comfortable this morning. He was the world champion last year. And he has his sights set on the world record held by his countrymate. And each go, here's Carl Forsman, 19 year old from Sweden. He will try to get ahead of Yuri Luchin. It's going to be a good contest between these two in the middle. It was a good swim this morning as well by Marco Dolphin from Italy, who may well challenge for the medals. Yeah, we saw Yuri Luchin there opting not to dive, just pushing straight up and straight into his stroke, and he's already out in the lead with a high stroke rate. And because he doesn't have the use of his legs, he has to do shorter arm strokes than the more conventional breaststroke long and glide that we would normally see. But he's keeping his head down, as we've seen with other athletes with leg impairments this week, to keep that streamlined position for, for more than what only taking breaths every few strokes. Well, he's well inside the record pace there, 41.70. Carl Forsman trying to keep pace with him. He's in second. It's Tan Hai Do from Vietnam in third. Marco Dolphin in fourth, just coming into third now. But can anyone catch Yuri Luchin? It's looking difficult. All three swimmers in the, in the medal places at the moment have similar strokes, and they'll all be starting to feel their arms burning. So unless it's all about, at this point, who's got the most training in those arms and who can tolerate that pain the most and at the moment it definitely seems to be this man in your shot Yuri Luchin is going to hold on for this gold medal well he's going to hold on for the gold medal there's no doubt about that is he going to get under the 130 mark is it going to be another world record here in Funchal it's very close it's very close indeed it's 0.1 of a second outside oh goodness Carl Forsman in second place and Marco Dolphin, to the delight of the Italian fans, just down from us. They will claim a bronze medal for Marco Dolphin. But what about that man? He was never really in doubt when they came down that second 50. Yuri Luchin from Russia will take the gold medal. As you see here, Paul, like I said, up and straight into his stroke, and he used that speed that he generated off the wall, really, to get that stroke going, and never really looked back. He hit the turn on a full stroke, it's difficult, it's all about tucking yourself up into ball and getting yourself around as quickly as possible, which is sometimes difficult when you don't have control of your legs. But he, would, he got back up into his stroke, there's those short arm strokes, it's more of a sculling motion, actually, and it's just about how quickly you can do that without slipping water. And tonight, he did it very well. He did. Oh, he's pleased with that one. So, so close to the world record mark held by Andrei Granichka. Doesn't matter tonight because the gold goes to Yuri Luchin from Russia ahead of Karl Forsman and ahead of Marco Dolphin. They are your three European medals. Don't forget here to touch this mic to attack. Coach Yellow, Coach Green Team.